dark. It's dark. It's dark. It's dark. Um, sad news about Keishi dead at 55. Um, due to, I believe, may have been heart failure complications, which may, which started about a week ago when he was complaining about heart problems and not having feelings in his legs and pains in his legs. Um, Look, man, you know, it's, it's, it's dark, man, you know, and as people who know who watch the videos, you know how important I place Keshi um, and how important he was when he won that Nations Cup. So this is just a very, you know, this is just, you know, my um, summation of Keshi because, you know, as you grieve, you grieve to begin with thoughts, of course, with the family and those that he left behind and him also losing his wife months prior. You have to then reflect and look at the legacy he's left behind. And he's achieved immortality, especially in the nation of Nigeria. The green, white, and green, he has achieved immortality. Um, and you do that when you go, when you transcend and go beyond whatever parameters you are in. Won the Nations Cup as a captain, but his biggest victory, well, I'll get to that. A bigger victory was when he won the Nations Cup as a coach. A very rare feat to win the Nations Cup both as the captain, a player, and also as a coach of the team, which was huge and meant so much to Nigeria, bringing the Nations Cup back home. Um, but that wasn't his greatest victory. Keishi's greatest victory was his stand for African coaches. Was him saying that, why can't African coaches do the same job, the same, if not better, than these so-called better European coaches? And he was on record in saying that, you know, we have to give more chances to my fellow brethren, my fellow African coaches. Why can't Cameroon have a Cameroonian coach? Why can't Senegal, um, South Africa and, um, you know, Ghana, all these boys, why can't they have their own indigenous local coaches coach the team? Why not? You know, you have it for under... 17 under, under 21, why not the, the senior team? It's that slave mentality, it's that subservience to believe that the white man is better. And Keishi said, no, the white man isn't born better, naturally better, okay? We're all born equal, okay? And it is what you do, your craft and your hard work and your dedication and your craft that can then elevate you. So I think, you know, for Keishi winning that Nations Cup, based on what he said, promoting the fact that blacks and Africans, they know tactics, they have intelligence. They know, they, they know structure. I don't have a shred of white in me. I'm 100%. Okay, I'm 99% Brazilian, maybe 1% black. No, sorry, 99% Nigerian, 1% black Brazilian. And you all know, I know what the hell I'm talking about when it comes to the sports of football. You all know that. That's a fact. So, Keishi said, look, man, Nigerians, we know how to coach. So, I think that is why, man, you know, this is painful, man. You know, this 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 is painful because 55, that's too young. Especially after losing his wife, that's too young. I'm not happy about it at all. You know, um, nah, no way. He deserved to live longer. He deserved to then be even, you know, thought of even more highly in, in, in life with him being alive. But then again, people have said, I want a stadium must be built of him. That is a fact. Okay, there must be Stephen Keshi International Stadium, 100%. Um, and he has to be given a state funeral. He must be remembered properly because, as I said again, it's not just about what he achieved in football. It's the, it is what he was trying to say as in blacks, Africans, have pride in yourselves. Don't just assume that, oh, no, no, the white man can do it better. They're much more organized. Okay, they are better. Yes, let's just let them do. No, 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 no. Keishi said, have pride in yourself. And Keishi, man, he was unapologetically Nigerian and black. Which is why I loved him so much. People say people would call him arrogant, full of himself. I couldn't give a damn. That's what made him so amazing. He said, No, I believe what I'm believing. And he constructed a Nigerian team that who played the best football since back in the golden generation of the 90s. Okay, so bringing in all these goals, Betty Votes, all these kind of guys in and out, um, made it to Tunovich. Keshi, a Nigerian, was the guy who brought Nigeria back to playing that football the right Nigerian way. So, sad, man. It's unfortunate. Um, obviously, you know, head to the blog where I write a full post about this, you know, giving my, my thoughts in written form. But yeah, man, you know, 
you agree, you know, it's, it's sad when I heard the news that, I mean, I was not in a good mood, but you know, reflecting upon it, man, he left a legacy. He achieved immortality, you know, and um, Keishi, you, you don't understand, man, him just supporting, promoting black coaches, black managers, that you can be more than just those, oh, you know, war horses who, who, who just play, but, you know, leave the brains to the people who know about it. No, he said, no, we can be the war horses and the players, but we can also use our brains and intelligence to bring in tactics and statistics as well. Suffocation, man, I applaud you. I thank you for that. And your legacy will not be forgotten. I guarantee that.